Let's go ahead and fly these things and check out some of the features. Yeah, let's go fly. Awesome. Let's put this uh, drone in there. We're gonna fly the Matrice 4T, the thermal version. For that, let's open uh, the DI Pilot 2 up. So let's check. Let's check really quick our health in the aircraft. Good to see green. Yeah, everything is green, so we're good to go. Let's enter the camera view. There you go. See the camera. So everything looks as it should. Let's arm and take off. Clear for takeoff. It was a really quick takeoff. Yes. This drone is really fast for its size. So we're around 356. Yeah, for its size. It's really so fast. as you see, as I was saying in the left side, you find out the menus right. uh, or the quick access for the AI features, the smart track, the cruise and more. If you click in this three, uh, three dots icon, you will see the vision assist, dice cred mode, beacons, observe you, draw 3D area, draw line, fly to phase point of interest. So a lot of features. So let's try the features of the AI camera. So we got this vehicle over here. So I used to draw a square on it and I hit click tracking and you see the camera will adjust itself to try to show me what I want to see to keep it on the frame. And as well, I can control a little bit how much I want to zoom in. Oh, wow. Look the yeah. level of detail. I lost it a, really cool, yeah. I, yeah, I a little bit because I went out of frame. Yeah. Well, like I always can go back and It's super easy to grab that target. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that was super I easy. I think that's like a big feature. Very nice. Look how smooth it looks. You know, you're always going to have trees or buildings. Uh, sure. This is tracking a moving object, but even if, if we were using the same technology, even looking for stationary things, um, it's definitely going to track them and find them and zoom in like that and help you out. That's, that's correct. Um, you see, we got there like a, like a tree on the way, it lost it for a second, but sure. the, the drone tries to keep the same movement that, that it was having when it was tracking. Ah, uh, so let's let's go back here. I'm gonna cancel the tracking. Look, we have like a person here. Normally the car, we have an icon of mm. a car, but with the person, we have like a little arrow, mm -hmm. even though uh, this is on a bicycle. Oh, wow, yeah. So look how, how crazy it does. The, yeah, it quickly identifies that object and it knows how to track it after just inst almost instantaneously. And you can zoom a little bit more. Oh, wow. Look the level of detail. Oh, yeah. That's great. And we're at 354 feet altitude Yes, right now. correct. And so another feature is like, you want to know, like basically uh, with the uh, range finder, you can pinpoint on that person as well. And let me just scroll it again. And you kind of have an idea of how far it's from the drone. So we are at like a 400 feet from it, 475. Mm -hmm. And look at something else that is oh, pretty particular cool. okay, in the wow. map. You can have the real location. And you can still see your live feed as the, the picture in picture. That's cool. correct. So it's showing you where is that on the map. Meanwhile, you keep a track here with a, an accurate okay. distance to it. So this is, I think this tool is pretty it's amazing. Super nice, yeah. You see those little dots jumping where the things that is detecting even on the highway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can see. Let it. me, let me show you over there in the highway. You see on the screen, wow. like all the vehicles it's being detected. Getting them all. Yeah. So <laughs> that's not the crazy part for me. Right. The crazy part is if I open the map, yeah. it shows you where the camera is pointing at uh -huh. and look Oh, all man. the objects that are being and recognized you can, you can track on the highway. Them from there. Wow. Correct. Yes. I mean, we're in a pretty far distance. Yeah, we're pretty far from there. Well, we can give it a shot. Let's see because the zoom is so good that this is what we can do. Let's. It's helping us right now that the traffic is a, a little bit yeah. slow. Maybe find the so, red car. Yeah. Let me get the red car. <laughs> that was something else, man. Look at that. Wow. That was so easy and fast and smooth and and the resolution is absolutely incredible and. Um, amongst all that, we have not had any interruption either. It's yeah. super clear the whole time. Look how it's trying to keep keep up with the tracking, and we have it, a yeah. two thousand feet away by the rangefinder. So behind those trees, yeah, it'll lose it there. But hey, that's just natural. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, see, you, you cannot, cannot you cannot do anything against the tree. If you cannot see it, the drone cannot see it. That's how AI basically will work. So I think it is it is really impressive and. As I was mentioning to you, you see the categories or, or, or the classification over the vehicle as a yes. little car icon. Yeah. So basically, if we find a person around the cars, it will show you like a little arrow, meaning that as a person, if you have a boat, it will show a little boat icon. So it is really impressive. Um, you know, we have the IR, the IR oh, camera. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So you have uh, some zoom, uh, some digital zoom on it. Some zoom, yeah. Uh, you can, of course, change your color palette, as we know from all the thermal uh, cameras from the AI. So that's, that is still there. Uh, with the quick buttons, you have access to the points of the camera, sorry. And another thing of the new features is that you can add an annotation point with a quick click. For example, let me just put some annotation point on this roof. So as you see, I put a mark there. Mm -hmm. Let me just change the zoom camera. See, I put it there on the roof. You see yeah. that blue, the blue uh, icon. But so as you notice, I added that uh, that marker as a reference point there in the building. So let's say like you keep it that as your main target, and I don't know, you get some other information like the suspect is moving around the building on the right side, and you want to track it with your camera. But then you need to go back to that point that you were. Looking at the beginning, your annotation point, you hit face. So you like to look at your original point. Correct. So it doesn't matter where where I point the camera. If I can rotate 360 degrees, I can move away from here. And then I'll just go and click face. And it's going to use it as a reference. Also, you can use the same point as a point of interest. So you see I'm orbiting around there already. Yeah. Wow. That's my, That's with the same yeah. annotation. Wow. Incredible. Point. Yes. That was quick in, uh, integration from just looking at something and to orbiting it. Yeah. The augmented reality is like a, like a, like a big thing right now with the annotations. And on the map, you can see the orbit that I'm doing based on that point, my range finder as well. Even like you can see what the camera is projecting, basically that, uh, polygon shape that you see there is where the camera is basically projected the image that I'm getting from the camera is that polygon that you see in the screen. Um, other cool feature is the cruise one. So basically, let's say I want to fly on a straight line. Meanwhile, I, meanwhile, I uh, take observation on the area. I just want to keep the same speed, like going forward. So I just hit cruise. I just give it the throttle that I want. I can decline, I can go down a little bit. And if I hit C1, Cruise control enabled. So basically, the drone is flying itself at the speed that I set up going down and forward. And now I can rotate and while I'm inspecting. Oh, that's a new feature. That's really cool. So I don't have like to be pilot and camera at the same time. I just. So would you say with this cruise control feature, we're closer to flying cars these days? It kind of, yes. <laughs> yeah, so let's bring it back and put it here in the middle again. You see again the augmented reality from the AI. It's uh, we see the home point where we took off as well. You can see it on the map. So uh, with the augmented reality, you can, if I hit a uh, return to home, so it will show you a projection of what the drone needs to do. You see the line on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically the drone is telling you exactly where is it going to fly now. Wow, really neat. Give you its kind of trajectory. Yes. Yeah, so the same feature, you can use it with the uh, Fly 2. So you can use Fly 2 and then you, uh, let me just cancel the return to home. You can basically set a marker wherever you want. Uh, I set the altitude at 350 and this will be the point that I want to go for the flight to, and let's hit a uh, flight to destination. So the C2 button on the controller would be the same function as selecting OK. Correct. So with C1, I put the annotation or the marker, and now I hit uh, C2 and the drone will just travel. So the C2 and the C1 buttons are programmable. 
But even by default, they have Correct. useful you have, features already yes. applied to them. And this interface is showing you exactly what each button is doing. Uh, as you can see also on the right top corner, it's telling you what is in the screen. is detecting nine people, 53 ob uh, 51 vehicles, and one boat. That's well, boats. Yeah, I don't know what you see in the boats. Oh, there's water there. Yeah. Hopefully, I can imagine. It's as smart as it needs to be to see boats. That's correct. Okay, another cool feature is the observe view. I think it's really helpful when you're in the situation of search and rescue environment that you want to be sure when you're looking for a person uh, that you don't want to miss a spot. You want to be sure that you already flown that area and you didn't miss it. Like you really, you're sure that you've passed over that tree, over that building, over, you're talking about acres, maybe, you know, it's like a completely flat land. You don't exactly know if you flew over there. So okay. with this tool, just click and observe you, start recording. And I mean, while we're pointing the camera down and moving, mm -hmm. the drone is created like breadcrumbs. So I'll show you in a bit. I mean, while I'm flying around, I'm gonna show you in the map how it looks like. And also it will project the camera where the camera is covering, covering side to side. So as you see here, mm -hmm. you see exactly where we passed already and how much we saw with the camera. It kind of reminds me of a freshly vacuumed carpet. You can see yeah, you, kind of, yes, it's good. the same concept. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. But I, I think this is, this is a powerful tool. That for is people very that, powerful. Yes. Yeah. Something we didn't have before as well. So correct. Last but not least, you have the, a draw 3D line or draw 3D area. So if you click on, on the tool and then, uh, as, as I mentioned, the augmented reality is a big thing, but speaking, you create like a 3D object, just clicking in C1 and moving my camera. Okay, well. So basically, if I have something that I need to measure, I can do it just with the line tool. And for example, if this, you, you want to know the distance between a car and a suspect or something that's going on, basically with that tool, I already, I didn't even draw the polygon. I just throw the first point and four line. And you already see that we have 400, 432 feet uh, on that distance. So if I keep, if I keep clicking, you can see that I can create oh, wow. polygons or any type of shape that I want. That is really, really advanced. Kind um, of like making a task area there. Yeah. It, but the thing is like now you are having the full control from the remote controller. You can create any type of annotations. Yeah. Like, yes. Basically, yeah. like if you are under a mission or an operation that involves a team, it's like we're already through this area uh, or do not fly on this area that I'm going to mark yeah. and you stream that to your fly hub to platform and everybody on the team is like, well, that's this area of interest that I'm seeing from the drone. I'm going to, I'm going to pinpoint, I'm going to pinpoint exactly what I want you guys to look at. So that's a really, really cool. Okay. I think uh, we cover the. The main new features that I will say that adds up to this uh, Matrice 4T and the thermal ver version, I think we can, the shorter speed, uh, how advanced it is and fast and how powerful is the new remote controller, how you can create 3D models right. on real time and fly around uh, whatever you created with a 3D model. Yeah. So you can create a specific weapon. So I think we should make like a, you know, like a specialized video showing those features. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a lot of information there and everybody's going to ask that question next. What does the mapping look like? So. With that, we've checked out all the features um, we've gotten our hands on and a good feel for the new M4 series. Absolutely, sounds good, man. Thanks for showing me the drone. Let's bring it back. It's coming already uh, with a return to home. You see how cool is the augmented reality showing us exactly what it's doing. So we have it right above us. And let's see how good this precision landing is. Yeah, and we didn't cover anything connected to uh, an entry or yeah. uh, the RTK itself. Uh, and as well, we didn't do the cycling of the battery. As we mentioned with this new RTK uh, antenna, we can swap a battery, a battery and get back in there in 15 seconds because you're going to be ready. Go. Right. It's going to know exactly where it is using as well all the avoidance uh, collision sensor or cameras that it has surrounding the drone. So it basically knows exactly where it's taking off and landing all the time. Pretty clean. Easy. I think this is going to be like a, it's a big step up on the DJI line having nice. from the medium, medium size factor that we came from yeah. the Matrice 30 to it, the Matrice It's a nice 4. sweet spot in the size of the drones that people are operating. Yeah. And we okay. didn't mention a little bit about the propellers. There's two set of propellers that come in the kit. Oh yeah. We're using here the low noise propeller. Uh -huh. 
and then we have the high altitude propeller that you know it can be a little bit more noisy but it will give you more stability when you try to use it and any other type of heights that you might require to fly um and i'm sure in our future video like you said very near soon we'll be making a video describing all the mapping features and showing the ease of use and i've seen it firsthand um it's really impressive technology that we haven't seen in other drones so it'll be really exciting when we come back just to focus on the the mapping yeah it, it, it is it is a big it, it might just maybe it doesn't look like there's a big difference between the two drones but having that type of sensor just for surveying and how fast it can be it opens up all the capabilities and having this powerful remote controller that basically you have a powerful laptop on your hands to do something on the field that will create a big gap and difference on the surveying and mapping products around the market right now. Absolutely. Sounds good, man. Thanks for showing me the drone.